I'm going to invite Dr. Arturo Gomez Pampa to the, uh, join me, uh, who will make some remarks and will make the, the second award. Thank you, Arturo. Good evening. The Tyler Prize is given in recognition of outstanding scientists who have made significant achievements in ecological and environmental issues since 1974. Most of these scientists come from the industrial world and only a few from emerging countries. This difference does not reflect a lack of interest in environmental problems in emerging nations, but a profound difference in the number of qualified scientists in the two worlds. This is a disturbing fact because the ecological and environmental problems in the development world are immense and affect most of the people of Earth. The Executive Committee of the Tyler Prize discussed this issue and we recognized the urgent need to increase the number of scientists in developing countries and the importance of strong research institutions devoted to environmental issues. Without a strong scientific community, we cannot formulate badly needed informed responses to the multitude of environmental problems facing our world. Of course, the issue of a strong scientific community is not a simple one, but because of the responsibility of the Tyler Price, I just wanted to share with you our awareness with this problem. Thus, the Tyler Committee saw with great interest the growing file and enthusiastic support from many quarters for the Latin American Plant Science Network, better known as the Red Latinoamericana de Botanica. It was clear to us that this initiative is a great innovative response to an urgent need to prepare a group of well-educated plant scientists in Latin America to work in the region where the problems exist. This initiative came from a small group of outstanding Latin American botanists with enthusiastic support from their, his, their U.S. and European colleagues. The botanists aim to organize a network of training centers in the plant sciences to develop an educational program that could provide graduate level opportunities within the Latin American region to deal with the urgent challenge of conservation and management of the region's threatened plant diversity. This network of 27 institutions has engaged in a capacity building function by training young botanists from Latin America. It has provided resources to organize research projects, graduate courses, or, and meetings. The RED has been very successful experience that has promoted a sense of pride and self-sufficiency, as well as stronger relations within the Latin American and plant science community. The low-key and cost-effective work of the Red Latinoamericana de Botanica is considered a worthwhile investment in a region where knowledge will be an increasing important element in the face of the present pressures for the destruction of biodiversity. Osvaldo, can you please come and join us up here? For, for achievement, in education, new generation of Latin American plant scientists to deal with environmental problems, the Tyler Executive Committee has selected the Red Latinoamericana de Botanica to receive the 2004 Tyler Prize. Congratulations to all participants of the Red because your achievements, you have improved, improved the world for us all. Let, let me read. The 2004 Tyler Prize for Environmental Achievement presented to the Red Latinoamericana de Botanica, Latin America, in recognition for its contributions to the advancement of botanical sciences in Latin America by the unprecedented program of courses, student exchanges, and collaborative research projects, and especially for, by promoting regional pride, self-sufficiency, and a strong and healthier international relations among the countries in Latin America. Thank you. 
I feel honored and privileged to be here this evening. And I want to start by thanking the Tyler Price Executive Committee and the President Bob Sullivan for this honor that has been conferred to the Latin American Plant Science Network. I also want to th thank Alice and John Tyler for their generosity and their vision. They care for the environment and they try to foster the environment by rewarding excellence in many ways. So I want to thank them especially in this, this day. I think this is an, an important prize for the Latin American Plant Science Network. I think we appreciate a lot the, in terms of the recognition, but also it's a great incentive for the Latin American Plant Science Network to continue with its mission. It's an incentive, but also I think it's, it's a way to facilitate our, our work because, because of the Tyler Price, the Latin American Plant Science Network is going to be better known all over the world, and I think it's going to attract more support and more people who will be interested in helping us with our mission. I interpret this as a, an award that has been given to an institution, to the Latin American Plant Science Network. And therefore, it's an award that it, a lot of people should be very proud. I think a large group of people who contributed, who collaborated with the network, several of the early presidents who had the vision to create the network, or, and two of them are present here. Sonia Dietrich and Mary Kaling are, are present here. And I want to thank them for their vision, for their hard work, and also to a large group of people who work very hard, uh, always on a pro bono basis. I think most of, all of us have a, a day job where we, <laughs> and we do all this in our free time. And I think it's, uh, I'm very grateful to all these people. So thank you very much and thank you to the Tyler Prize. As they say in the movies, dinner is served. 